Okay, in this video, we want to solve the initial value for uh, 2y double prime minus 3y prime plus y is equal to 0, where y parentheses 0 is equal to 2, and y prime 0 is equal to 1 half. And we'll solve this question using the TI. First thing, we hit menu, algebra, polynomial tools, and we go down to complex root of polynomials. And... Um, we're saying y double prime is represented by r squared, y prime is represented by r, and y is represented by 1. So we have 2 times r squared minus 3 times r plus 1. We do comma r like this. Hit enter. And so our two roots would be uh, 1 half and 1. And so we can define y as being y defined is going to be a c1 times e raised to 1 divided by 2 times t, this value, uh, plus c2 times e raised to 1 times t. Uh, simply hit enter. And this is what we get so far. Next is we want to take uh, the derivative of y. So we do shift minus. It's going to be dt for y. Hit enter. This is what we get. And we now will plug in our values. And so we have two equations we'll set. We have y prime and we have y. And so we can say we'll first do this one. So we, we select this, we say this is going to equal uh, 2, this is equal to 2, and then we do control equal uh, set, we're setting t is equal to 0, so t is equal to 0, and this is one equation that we have, and next we do the same thing for the derivative one, so we go up, select it, this is going to equal one half so we say equal one half uh, control equal we set it and likewise t is equal to zero so t is equal to zero and this is our second equation and next we want to solve the equations to get c1 and c2 so we'll do that now we'll hit menu algebra solve um, we will do control square brackets and we're just going to select these two. So we scroll up, we select it, uh, comma, we scroll up, select it, and on the outside we write comma c1, comma c2 like this. So we have a comma right here separating the two and then Outside of the square bracket, we have comma C1, comma C2, like this. Hit enter. And so our C1 is 3 and our C2 is negative 2. And so the last step, we say Y, our equation. Um, we do control equal uh, line set. And we say, we simply say this. So scroll up, hit enter, and enter once again. And this is our final answer. So I'm going to expand it in case if you missed a step or anything. And so if you like missed a step, um, this is everything. And this is our final answer. And this is how we can solve uh, second order differential equations on the TI Inspire.